Hi, this is Jeff Flaherty from the Juniper Network's Education Services Lab Team. If you're interested in learning more about Transparent Mode, it's covered in our Advanced Juno Security course. For full details on this course, just visit www.juniper.net forward slash courses and do a quick search. If you're pursuing Juniper certification, you'll want to know about Transparent Mode for the JNCIP-SEC and JNCIE-SEC exams. Now let's get to your learning bite. Hi, my name is Ryan Israel, and I'm a tech lead with Juniper Network Certification Program. This learning bite is on configuring transparent mode on an SRX. Overview uh, for transparent mode. It uh, provides uh, layer two bridging of internal network segments. So allows for uh, security zones and security policies for layer two traffic and uh, allows you to configure one or more bridge domains to perform layer two bridging. Um, you know, kind of one scenario that you may want to um, use this was is in an existing network. Um, you could add this to a segment. You could add an SRX in, uh, in transparent mode to a segment to add, you know, security features on that segment with, you know, like security zones and security policies. Here's a um, configuration example of transparent mode. In uh, our um, scenario here, we're, we're going to have a um, an untagged segment that we're um, adding this to transparent mode on to, and the SRX and transparent on to, and um, so that's why we're going to use access. And then uh, you need to put the interfaces in family bridge and, and associate them with that same VLAN. In this case, this VLAN's uh, local uh, significant because we're not tagging the uh, actual um, segment that it's on. The example doesn't show the policies or the security zones at all, and I'll show you that once we get to the CLI, but this is just an example of the actual uh, configuration to put it into transparent mode. Um, some requirements and restrictions. All interfaces um, in the zone must be layer 2. You can't have a mix of layer 2 and layer 3 zones. And then also a re reboot is required, so once you make this configuration, uh, you're going to have to reboot the SRX. So here's a uh, here's the topology we're going to be using for this uh, example. Just kind of a, um, a simple scenario where um, you have an existing uh, network which is at um, 10.168.1.0/24 network, and you have a uh, some servers off of that um, segment, and then we're going to add the SRX uh, one into a transparent mode on that segment so that we could uh, add say security policies on that segment. Okay. So let's uh, go ahead and go to uh, the CLI. Okay, we're logged into the uh, SRX, and we'll take a quick look at the uh, the interfaces. Uh, 006 is uh, connected uh, to the server, and uh, 0012 is connected to the router. So we associated a, a VLAN uh, with it, and, um, and in this case, um, since uh, it's a... Uh, untagged uh, segment, we're just going to do uh, interface uh, mode access. The actual bridge domain, so we're just going to um, create a bridge domain, we called it 100, and uh, then associate the VLAN ID with it. And then I've also created some uh, security zones and uh, uh, security policy, so um, just uh, simple for the uh, example here. So let's go ahead and uh, commit that. And you should notice that we uh, get a warning that a, a reboot is uh, required. Okay. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and reboot that, and then uh, come back once the reboot has completed. Okay, now the um, SRX is back from uh, the reboot, 
and uh, we'll go ahead and um, ping the uh, server from router one and we'll verify that um, of the uh, security flows are being created so that it's working so that's uh, pretty much uh, setting up transparent mode the only thing else I want to do uh, to show you um, is um, at a, um, a routable interface so say we have um, we want to set up a out-of-band management interface or what have you we could do that and uh, I'll give you an example of that so I've already configured the IRB interface for the uh, the management address and then the, the management interface is uh, 000 so let me go ahead and configure that really quick and we'll give it a different uh, give it a different VLAN and then let's go ahead and add that to um, a bridge domain we'll give it, put on a different one Okay, and then we also need to put it in a zone. Put in the uh, management zone. Okay, go ahead and commit that. Should take just a second here. Okay, now that the commit is finished, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll just verify we could reach the management. And so that's uh, how to set up um, transparent mode. This concludes our learning byte on transparent mode. You can find more information in uh, the uh, Junos course AJSEC or our technical documentation online, um, specifically the uh, Layer 2 bridging and transparent mode for security devices. Thank you. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program the ultimate demonstration of your competence, and the training community. From forums to social media, join the discussion.